hello um i'm back again and this time i'm gonna answer a question um one of the visitors to my youtube channel asked under the video for the traffic light video so i think it's daniel it's like um if we could change automatically change the text colors the tax text color for every task that's 100% complete. Um, unfortunately, I can't do it automatically, but I can with a click of a button and it involves the use of VBA. So this first video will be on the use of VBA so that with the click of a button, it changes the color of um, uh, tasks that are 100% complete. But if you're setting at work or it restricts the use of of macros um, I'll do a second video that shows how to use custom fields to, to, to remind you to update those um, to change colors so let's get started if I open a blank um, Microsoft project shadow so um, let's change this to a shadow so let's say we have dummy task one let's give it 10 days um, we need to hide them hide these two columns i don't need them and hide hide okay um how about we set the project because we're gonna we're trying to highlight 100 percent complete activities let's set the project start day to Third of July and status date to I don't know if that's current. So that's current date is today. Status date to 21st of August. Okay. Oh, so we do dummy task one. this five eight ten nine days um let's see what happens if i link all sequentially six was the 29th all right that's it so i need to add another column for percent complete Yeah, let's assume everything is progressing as planned. So just mark on track. So we should have, um, oh, maybe I just add another activity. Tell me tasks um, six. So we have four tasks completed, one in progress, one not started. So normally all the if you want to highlight those ones that are completed, you can just select them, change the text, the font color to let's say light gray, do whatever you want to do. But so Daniel wants to be able to do this like automatically or semi-automatically. So um, there's no, I need to hide this. It's the sweet way of doing it. The only way and one of the ways I know of is to use um, one of the text tiles that comes with Microsoft Project. So if you go to Gan on the ribbon, if you click on Gan Chat Format, you click on Text Tiles. It open up this dialog. Now, item to change. Let's wait. If you look at it, row and column title, no critical tags, no one, external tags highlighted, marked, 
this is what we want but we'll come to it let's look at other ones milestones no summary yep so max tasks will work for us so if we sell if we select for max uh, max tiles uh, task we change the color to gray that daniel wants and maybe make it italics click ok so what this does is um if i add a column for mat everything is showing us um no just now so if you change let's say we change all the ones that are 100 percent complete to yes as you can see They are grayed out like he wanted, but even here, if we change them, um, the problem with this manual setup, if you change even the ones that are 100% complete to yes, they marked, it makes it gray. So let's try, um, let's try the semi-automatic way so that I just click up a button, we do that. Um, let me save this. Browse. So save the schedule. So to do this, um, you need you need this developer tab on the ribbon. If you don't have it, to enable it, you go to File, Option, um, I can't remember which one you do first, but I'll go with um customize ribbon first and then I'll show you the customize ribbon. And on this side, you you enable the developer option. You check it, you th you tick the, the checkbox. Now and if it's not if it's not under these main tabs, you can find it from the left um grouping list in here. Um, Take it to move it to the right. Now, after you've done that, you come to Trust Center. Center. You click on. Yep, on Trust Center. You see macros, macro settings. Now, you want to disable all macros with notification. No matter what you do, don't ever select the last one. If you can't access all this, check with your IT department. They might have it disabled. Click OK. So you have that set up. So what we want to do is um, we've defined we've defined um, this flag. Max feed is a flag. We define this text style flag, which is light gray and italics for which we want to use to to mark and task that are 100% complete. So what we need to do is um, we'll go to the developer tab. Click if you if you click on view macros, there's no macro in this book in this um this project just now. So you click on the fish. So under the developer tag in the code group, you click on Visual Basic. And on the left double click on the file and it opens up the the interface this is like uh, the id for for coding so, so we need a procedure so if i go sub it needs to do something so let's say change text color and then what you need to do uh, advice you give your sub procedure meaningful name so that when you troubleshoot you can see so 
after the um, the double bra after the the bracket, if you click enter, it shows you the end of sub. It also completes that part for you. So first thing I want to do is to yep declare my variable. Just uh, so maybe just say declare variable. This this is just a comment. So if I do dim tsk as task yep so i'm saying my variable is tsk and it's a task so next it's um this schedule i have has got six tasks oh, i need to forgot to change this five days so this it's got six tasks so i want my code to be able to change the color of each one that's 100 percent complete I need to find a way to check each task. So we need to loop around all the tasks in the, sh in the schedule. So that's where with the code, we can do that. And luckily VBA has a, a way to loop through and it's called the for loop. So we're going to say loop through all tasks. And um, so we we'll see for each we've defined the variable using for task is tsk for each tsk in we're checking that we we'll, just in case you've got more than one project open it's the active project we want to look at so if you type active project if you do if you do a dot this is like the, the intellisense or whatever it's called it opens up the different options that are, that, are, that are available, the different functions that you can add to the active project. So you could, I'm looking for task. If you just type T, yep, I can see task. So I'm saying for each task in the active process, active project, if I click enter, so I'm going to say do something and then Just say do something and then say next. So it checks the first one, goes to the second one. Let me make this more readable. So I'll just um, indent this. Now that we've got, um, we can look through we have a system for looping on looping lo looping through the task. What, what do we? Was there something we wanted to do? So I think ideally I need to check that um, we don't have a we're not looping through blank row. So I'll say if not TSK TSK is nothing, then we do something so we're saying on the, let me put take this out then end if okay so this is like this line says ignore blank rows what's doing now we're saying for, for each task we need to check if it's 100% complete. So we need to do something and that's something is next. We check if a task is 100% complete. So TSK dot, again, the dot to just give you the option to select. We're looking for percent complete. Just percent complete, it's a, it's an int, it's a number. This you just say it was 100%. Then if it's 100%, then let's put the end if first. If it's 100%, then we save task, task dot marked. Yeah, that's a field, the flag we want to change equal to, it's, it's a flag, so it's a Boolean, it takes Boolean values, either yes or no. So we say yes. So this is it. If a tax is 100%, mark it as yes. We save this. 
if we go back to our schedule click on view macros now you can see our macro is available to us twitter so now you can see we have the macro so to do it to run it you just have to to run your macro it's saved you just click on view macros click run and you can see it changed all the text to gray for you and that's it anytime every anytime you want to update it you just come run it and if you found that that um, you've erroneously assigned a task as 100 percent complete you come let's say dummy task 3 is now 90 percent you come back you run it again see it doesn't change so we go back to our code we say if task is 100 percent complete mark is yes but what if it's not 100 percent complete so we do else csk dot marked is no save we save this then go back to our project you see pay attention to task three the dummy task three this time because we've said if it's no if it's 100 percent complete If it's not 100% complete, that's what I was saying. If it's 100% complete, then mark this yes, else mark this no. So this time, if we go back to our project, we run it, we run the macro. You see, it changes that to, to normal color, to, to black. And it's same here if we do 95% complete for this. Run it, changes it make them 100 percent that they're on track on your marker it changes it so that's how to use vba to change tax and text color thank you for watching and i'll produce a second video to show a manual option Thank you.